Alright, so I don't even remember what date it is today. It's a Friday in, in February. Um, I leave to go on vacation to California in a couple weeks to see my family. And that's kind of an unexpected trip, but a lot has been going on. And that's why I haven't posted a video. Um, but right now I just want to catch up and take a moment to kind of reflect on everything that has been going on and say it out loud um, so I can you know, listen back and hopefully learn from it, get something out of it. I think in my last video I talked about uh, the breakup, which is gonna sound weird, but it's going well. I, I think the initial shock of separation was very scary, but I knew that it's something that needed to happen. Um, I'm going to California in a couple weeks because my grandparents have been sick and I'm scared that it's the last time that I'm going to see them. They're both in their 90s and like they're sharp, they're smart. My grandma's still like out and doing things. My grandpa not so much, but he's still he's still quick. He's still all there. Um, it's just hard, especially when I'm trying to move to California and it's been something that I've put off for so many different reasons for so long that if they pass away before I get out there, it's going to be devastating, to be completely honest. Um, but that stress, and the stress with money, and um, now living on my own with the cats, which you might hear in the background sometimes, and the ferrets, and um, realizing that I don't really have a, a social life and all I do is work and I don't really have hobbies right now when it's it's cold it's snowing outside like okay like that's what I'm dealing with right now my seasonal depression is terrible um, my depression has been so bad recently that it's gotten scary it's um, this is the worst it's been in a long time. You know, being hospitalized before and being on medications before and dealing with everything for so long and thinking that I was over feeling this way or that I could do better for myself now it was just kind of naive when I know that it's something that I've struggled with my whole life. Um, I've had panic attacks recently. I've had... I haven't drank alcohol in about three and a half months now, almost, which is big. Um, I, I don't really go out, though. I don't really have people who, like, come over and drink anymore, which is, is nice. It helps keep me in perspective. Sobriety itself is... It's rough. It's really hard right now with my depression and feeling cooped up and... I don't know. I've always had the issue with substances or destructive behaviors where if it's not one thing, it's another. Um, it doesn't really go away. It just finds new ways to come out, which to me, personally, means that I'm not doing enough outwardly to help myself or people around me or 
um, bringing enough stuff in you know, creatively or artistically. I have been working on a couple side projects, but not as much as I want to. I've been trying to clean up the apartment and get things, you know, packed up, but I'm honestly very overwhelmed. Um, right now, it kind of feels like, and this might seem over dramatic, but it kind of feels like I'm in like survival mode where I'm just kind of taking it day by day and getting through things. Um, I don't know if I just need to get away or if I just need to cry or if I just need to go on a walk, even though I went on like an eight mile walk the other day casually with my best friend. Um, but I know that I need to take steps to help myself and I want to make a video soon about what I plan on doing and the goals that I'm setting to help myself because I can't keep doing things the way that I do things. Uh, it, it doesn't end well. I'm scared, but I didn't even think that I would make it this far, so we'll see what happens. All right, I think that's it. Um, Maybe I'll make another video soon. I gotta, I gotta talk things through and and reflect and see things through because honestly, I'm I'm a mess right now and it's it's hard. I'm struggling, but but yeah. All right.